Today we're going to talk about the organizational structure of a hospital. Organizational structure refers to the level of management within a hospital. Levels allow efficient management of the hospital departments. The structure helps one understand the hospital's chain of command. Chain of command refers to who you would report to if you had a problem. Organizational structure varies from hospital to hospital. Large hospitals will have a more complex organizational structure due to the number of employees. Smaller hospitals tend to have a much smaller organizational structure simply because of the number of employees there. Grouping of hospital departments within a structure. Hospital departments are grouped in order to promote efficiency of the facility. Grouping is generally done according to the similarity of duties. Common categorical grouping. You have your administrative services, informational services, therapeutic services, diagnostic services, and support services. So your administ administrative services, this goes to be your hospital administrators, such as your CEO, vice president, executive assistants, department heads. This is the business side of the hospital. These are the people that run the hospital. They oversee budgeting and finance. They help establish policies and procedures. And they often perform public relations duties, such, such as going out into the community, promoting public health, and more or less stirring up business for the hospital. Informational services, they document and process information. These include admissions, billing and collection, medical records, computer information services or systems, health education, and human resources. Therapeutic services, they provide treatment to patients. There's 10 different therapeutic services we're going to talk about. First one is physical therapy, treatment to improve large muscle mobility. If you have a surgery, you need to um, get your muscles stronger, learn to walk again, run. That's what you do, your phys you'd go to physical therapy for that. Occupational therapy, the treatment goal is to help patient regain fine motor skills, such as writing, picking up things, um, learning to brush your hair, um, any type of, you know, picking up little marbles, learning to do fine motor skills. Speech language pathology, they identify, evaluate, and treat speech or language disorders. Respiratory therapy, they treat patients with heart and lung diseases. Medical psychology, they're concerned with the mental well-being of patients. Social, social services connect patients with community resources, such as financial aid, if they need help with housing once they leave the hospital, that kind of thing. Pharmacy help dispense medications while they're at the hospital, and also can dispense some for when they leave the hospital. Dietary, this maintains nutritionally sound diets for patients. They can also help educate the patients uh, on the type of diet they need once they leave the hospital. Sports medicine, they provide rehabilitative services to athletes, kind of like the physical therapy. Nursing, they provide care for patients. Nursing will be seen all over and all through different departments of the hospital. Diagnostic services, these determine the causes of illnesses and injury. Diagnostic, just like you diagnose something. Medical laboratories are included in this. They use, they're used to study the body tissues. This is where you'd go to give your blood. If you give blood, they send it to the laboratory and they do the testing on it. Medical imaging, such as radiology, MRI, CT, ultrasounds. This is where you get your x-rays. Emergency medicine, this is the emergency room, provides emergency diagnosis and treatments. Support services. They provide support for the entire hospital. These are the people that kind of keep everything running, keep all everything supplied and ready to go. This includes your central supply. This is where you would send your orders. They receive stuff from um, different companies. They help stock and distribute equipment and supplies. Biomedical technology. They are responsible for design, build, repair, and medical equipment. Hospital keeping and maintenance. They help maintain a very safe hospital by mopping up floors, keeping everything clean, help keeping the environment very clean. Also, that kind of falls under laundry services and um, those kind of, those kind of uh, jobs. Traditional organizational chart. This is an example of a very traditional one. At the very top, you have your board. Those are the people that typically own the hospital. They're responsible for making all the big, big decisions. Next, you have underneath them, you have the administration, department heads, CEOs. And then underneath the, all the administration, you have your four different um, subgroups. You have your informational services, 
therapeutic services, diagnostic services, and your support services. This is what a traditional organizational chart looks like. Also, the pyramid demonstrates a symbolic organizational structure of a hospital. So here you can see at the top of the pyramid, you have your board. Those are the very top people. They make the very, very, very important, important decisions. Then your administration, they're right below them. Then informational, therapeutic, diagnostic, and support services. Now a lot of times your therapeutic and your diagnostic services, those lines can definitely become blurred because you must diagnose what you do first before you get therapy. But also nursing is underneath therapeutic services, so you, your nurses are very you know, important whenever it comes to patient care. And then your support services, they're at the bottom. They're the ones that would help just kind of help keep everything grounded, keep everything together. So example of a symbolic represent representation of the organizational structure, this is going to be one of the projects we're going to do next, is you're going to think of and come up with your own symbolic representational or representation of the organizational structure. So the next slide will show an example of it, just kind of to give you an idea, to get you thinking about what the project will be. So this is an example of a symbolic organizational structure of a hospital that one of the HSTE1 students did a year or two ago. So after, so for this picture, the, as you can see, they have therapeutic services, diagnostic services, administrative services, and support services. So for the, the stethoscope, that has to do with the, the diagnostic services. The uh, diagram determines the cause of the illnesses. The earpiece, therapeutic services, hears, interprets, and decides course of treatment. Then the tubing, that was the support services, support structure of the stethoscope, that supports all of the hospital departments. The head, that represented the administrative services, they run everything, kind of the business, kind of, you know, thinking about what's going on, planning, that's what the administrative services does. So this is just an example of what I mean, obviously you can't copy this exactly, but get thinking about what you might want to use as your representation of the organizational structure. You can use things such as a roller coaster, totem pole, hamburger, tennis shoes, maybe an ice cream cone. Be creative when you think about how all of these can be put together and represented. You can also do possibly a tree with, you know, the roots being the support services. Um, you know, branches can be your therapeutic services so on. Your options are limited or unlimited.